Hello, I'm Mark O'Connor and welcome to our next installment where we take a deeper dive into our tech index report. I'm delighted to be joined by my colleagues, my friends, Christy Swartz from our Asia Pac practice and Margot Tank from the US, from Washington. Uh, both of you experts in all things fintech, so I'm sure we're gonna have a great conversation. Margot, can I come to you first? And let's talk about the nature of fintech, specifically with regard to digital transformation. You know, we've been talking about digital transformation, and I've been advising on digital transformation for 20 you know, plus years since there were enabling laws. And the enabling laws really are very similar in every jurisdiction um, in terms of how to sign and do e-contracting and how to deliver disclosures and present information and transact electronically. There's been discussion for the same amount of time, 20 plus years, on the efficiencies of going digital. It's faster, cheaper, easy to communicate from any place, any remote place, uh, before we had COVID. Also, the ability to track and trace and audit um, is something that has been talked about and utilized for a long time. It seems like we should be more advanced than we are in terms of digital transformation, but it's been a very long journey recognizing the benefits and then deploying and implementing them. There's a lot of friction that occurs you know, in between.